Hello again viewer, Ryan here at 3TR and as you can see from the video up top I'm going to do a video on just the video, my video game collector's edition of weapons. Now uh, I actually did a video on all my collector's editions I'd say almost two or three months ago and I'll leave the links to those down below because they didn't really get as many views as I'd hoped but trust me it's a really really cool collection probably better than any collection you will see here on YouTube, I think. I think I've maybe seen maybe one person who I would consider has a better collection than I do, but maybe I'll meet them one day. So let's get started. Uh, I'm going to start off with something you've already seen before, but heck, there's no harm in going back to them. And that is the Ulax from the Chronicles of Riddick series. These were first introduced in uh, the Chronicles of Riddick, and you can also use them again in uh, Dark Athena the game. Uh, I, what I really like the most is, I definitely like the length of the blades, I mean, no heck, if you were to stab someone in the head, it'd go pretty damn far. And another thing is, these are kind of used like, you can use them as fists, and if the blade is sharp enough, which, you know, mine, I make sure they weren't that sharp, uh, it actually, uh, works pretty well. You know, and it has a really good feeling. And these edges are really well done, because you can actually use them to block any individual way, which is the cool thing about them. So, out of all my weapons, I would probably carry these on me if I had, like, the little holder case. So, yeah, that's the Ulex. Next weapon was something I was saving for Comic-Con, but sadly, I wasn't. Sadly, the tickets ran out, so I won't be going this year. But hopefully, if any would like to join uh, me and a friend of mine, maybe we could go 2013 together, so, yeah. And that is a Kingdom Hearts Keyblade. Uh, this one is actually made of real metal. And the end is actually pretty well cut. Uh, the handle piece is made out of leather for gripping. And the chain here is, it's significant. It was a lot longer when I first got this, so I decided to cut it and make it, I don't know, maybe almost a foot long which uh, I think is a good decision and as you can see the chain, if I can stop moving it, is Mickey Mouse which is always cool so expect to see me dressed up as uh, the first black sword maybe later next year. The next uh, cosplay weapon I was going to take to Comic Con was something I built and it is inspired by uh, Cole McGrath's amp from Infamous 2. Now unlike his, which was more like a rod, Mine is actually kind of more like a sword, and it's actually perfect for my size. I did make a, cus a few customizations just to, you know, make it special to me. Like instead of having the f you know, five coils, I put three in the bolts. I kind of colored black, and there's actually a bolt here for the conductor, and the handle, as you can see here, is uh, made from electric tape, which actually, you know, for something that uses electricity, actually works pretty perfectly. And finally, I'd like to, well not finally, one thing I'd like to show off real quick. I'd like to thank my brother for buying me this because it was really this collector's edition item, which you could say is a weapon in its own sense um, in God of War. Um, it's really cool, you know, Pandora's box and uh, there's no hope inside, but I don't know, there's a few comic books if you can see. But, again, I'd like to thank him again because he's now inspired on probably the coolest weapon I've ever assembled. But before I show it, I think it's time I uh, set the mood. I don't know. Let me just... Now... Ladies and gentlemen, I gladly would like to present the ultimate God of War collector's item I have achieved or purchased. And that is an actual realistic blade of chaos. Now, if you've been following me on Facebook, chances are you've already seen pictures of it, but here's me actually holding it. And yes, the chain can actually go wrapped around your arm as I have it here. Uh, it, as you can tell, it's battle-worn. And it is hard metal, and it actually can cut. 
The tip is actually, I actually sharpened the tip a little bit. I'm not gonna mess with that. The handle, as you can see, it's kind of made from, I don't know, I wouldn't say it's leather, but it's kind of a plastic material, but very good with gripping. I can't remember what this is, what this part is, or who's it supposed to be, but it looks like someone's claws, it looks like, I don't know, like maybe a, a raven or something. And, uh, yeah, that's about it. This is definitely the crowning jewel of my entire games collection, and you can definitely prepare to see in many more future videos. And I'd like to thank you for watching. If you like this video, please like, comment down below, and subscribe up top. And like always, I will see you next time. Thank you for watching.